Hi folks, tonight we're going to use the do-it-yourself hat cam tack on a Doppler run of a Pertos. This is a nice video on YouTube and you can find it at this link if you're interested. Let's take a look. Looks good. Okay, in order to do these calculations, we need to know more about the Doppler effect. And generally that just means that objects moving towards you sound like they have a higher frequency, and objects moving away from you sound like they have a lower frequency. For more information you can check Wikipedia. And we'll also need for these calculations to know what the speed of sound is when we make these recordings. The speed of sound depends primarily on the temperature, and we can use a formula here, this one, to calculate what that speed would be. It's based on uh, a nominal speed of 331 meters per second, and a calculation which involves the temperature, V, uh, and we compute the square root of 1 plus V over 273 and the temperature is in Celsius so if you need to convert that you can use a, a unit converter and I've done that already uh, I have assumed this video was recorded at 77 degrees Fahrenheit which would be 25 degrees Celsius I've done the calculation and that works out to 346 meters per second which is equivalent to roughly 774 miles per hour. Let's look at Audacity now. And this is the audio track from that video. The section which I've highlighted in gray is the path that we just looked at. So let's zoom in on that. And we see here that the helicopter becomes louder as it approaches the camera and becomes quieter as it gets farther away. Likewise, the frequency will be increased as it approaches and begin to decrease as it departs. Let's look at the spectrogram for this. As we discussed previously, the main blade rate is running around approximately 100 Hertz, which would be 3000 RPM but we can get more accurate measurements if we look at harmonics of that signal. And there's a nice one here at around 850 hertz, which drops down to, say, 775, which we can use in this calculation because it's based on the relative frequencies of approaching and departing signals. So I'm going to select this initial section at around uh, 53 and a half seconds into the video and plot the spectrum. Here we see there is a measurement of 856 Hertz on that line as the helicopter approaches the camera. And as it moves away we can find the frequency has dropped to 700 and say 40 Hertz. Now the calculation for the speed is based on the frequency approaching minus the frequency departing all divided by the frequency approaching plus the frequency departing and we multiply that by the speed of sound that we're interested in. Let's do the calculation now. 856 Hertz minus 740 Hertz divided by 856 Hertz plus 740 Hertz 
multiply by 774 miles per hour tells us that the helicopter was traveling at 56 miles per hour on that pass. This is roughly the same as 100 kilometers an hour, which is what the poster of the original video had thought.